a world that remains beset by so much human suffering, poverty, and deprivation. It is in your hands to make of our world a better one for all. July the 18th, 2010, his birthday, marked the celebration of the first Nelson Mandela International Day. He was 92. The UN-recognised annual commemoration was in honour of what it called Mandela's contribution to resolving conflicts and promoting race relations, human rights and reconciliation. As a young man, Mandela had brought the long struggle for democracy and against apartheid in South Africa to the world's attention. As leader of the African National Congress, he initially chose a strategy of civil disobedience. Then came the Sharpeville massacre in 1960. When 69 black protesters were killed, Mandela said it was futile to talk peace and non-violence with a government whose only response was savage attacks. In 1963, Mandela was arrested and sentenced to life in prison. It wasn't until the 11th of February 1990 that he was finally released. The announcement came after 27 years of languishing in Robben Island prison. F.W. de Klerk, the last president of apartheid-era South Africa, said... The government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. There's Mr. Mandela, Mr. Nelson Mandela, a free man taking his first steps into a new South Africa reception committee trying to get the people and a salute from Mr. Nelson Mandela, his wife Winnie. Both de Klerk and Mandela were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. So help me God. In 1994, Mandela was sworn in as president after the country's first multiracial elections. In 1999, he handed over power to his trusted friend Thabo Mbeki. In retirement, Mandela was still active until he finally said goodbye to life in the public eye in 2004. I am now retiring from retiring. Uh, if I have to call, I'll call myself. I would prefer that uh, nobody should call me. But Mandela continued to be the face of numerous fights, including the battle against AIDS, which claimed the life of one of his sons. More personal sorrow came later. As his country began hosting the 2010 Football World Cup, he learned a granddaughter had been killed in a road accident. Make every day a Mandela Day. It is in your hands to make a difference. His health was failing, but he still welcomed visitors, such as American First Lady Michelle Obama in 2011 and former U.S. President Bill Clinton for his 94th birthday. In November 2012, the National Bank put Mandela's face on its new notes. By now, it was recognised with respect all over the world. I am very happy... That I have lived until now. And I hope uh, many South Africans and other people in the world will live like this so that uh, they could be the object of admiration.